Welcome to this video. This series of videos explain how to create an RVE or unit cell of random distributed fibers in a composite. In the first video, we explain how to create the location of all circles randomly. In this video, we explain how to create the model in Abacus environment. In part module, we create the unit cell and also partition it to create all of the fibers. To start modeling of the composite, at first we should open the abacus.rpy file. This file is located in the temp directory and we can find it and open it. We can find the related commands for everything that we do in the software environment. Until now, we have only some commands that import some modules to the code. We copy all of them. We need these modules and paste them at the beginning of our previous code. This is our previous code. At first, we wrote three functions in our previous code. The first and second investigate intersection between circles and we have a random function and after that we have a while body which create all of the fibers now we add the modules in the beginning of the code we can delete lines which start with session and we also keep two lines from our previous code which import random and math functions we need them in the code later here is all of the required modules now we go to the abacus software and create a rectangle for the composite all of the dimension can be arbitrary in this step and we will change them in the code later I draw a rectangle and then I have the matrix to create fibers I draw only one fiber by partitioning the face by a sketch and I draw a random fiber and in the code we will extend these commands to create enough fibers we will copy all new commands which create the rectangle and partition it we copy them and paste them in our code we also do not need to these print lines I can comment them from here we create the rectangle or create the matrix part I add a comment line and describe these lines create a matrix part until here I separate this part of the code this part is for creating the matrix and the only change that is required is the dimension of the matrix as we have in the code the width of the composite is w comp and the height is h comp we use these two parameters to create a rectangle with desired dimensions now we can go and partition the part in partitioning the part we draw only one circle but we should change this code to draw all of the circles in center list we have some repeated lines and delete them This line is here also and we can delete this line too after that we have a command here 
which create the sketch. For creating the sketch, it's important to the origin of our coordinate system to be located in a proper position. We locate the origin of our coordinate system in zero and zero point. In other words, in the corner of the matrix part. We can find the important line of partitioning the part which is creating a circle. This line is for creating a circle. Now we use for command to create enough circles. In fact, all the circles that exist in sent list list. In this list, we have the location and radius of all circles from the previous code. We use sent list. Please notice the clone and indentation for for command and then we use component of sent list the x component which shows the x location of the center of the circle and then the y coordinate of the center and the radius of the circle For each circle, we extract its center, location, and radius and use them to draw the circle. In fact, these lines create all circles which exist in the sent list. The first point is on the center and the second point is located on the circle. For example, we can use x plus r and y as a point that is located on the circle. Now if we run the code, the code should create a randomly distributed composite. As you can see here, the location of centers and also the radius of the circles are random and between the limit which we define in the code. There isn't also any intersection between circles. The circles also has no intersection with border lines as was described in previous video. To show the capability of our code and how it can save our time, we model now a bigger unit cell, for example 0.6 for width and height and the same radius for fibers and also a bigger volume fraction. Now we can run the code. We could see here that this code saved lots of our time for creating this part. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If this video has helped you out, please let us know by a like, a comment or a subscribe. See you in the next videos.